I mean, I think that um, the, all the stimulus has yet to even been used, right? We still have three trillion in stimulus fiscal that hasn't been implemented yet. And so you have all the stimulus from last year, now more this year, you know, and then you get an infrastructure package of some sort, which is a trillion or two trillion. That's a lot of momentum. That's a lot of that's a lot of tailwind for an economy to continue to um, to, to see improvement. And then you get reopenings, right? And I know the market is actually pricing in a lot of the reopening stuff. Um, I can I can see it in the names that I own. <clears throat> But it is a real legitimate theme. It truly is. There's a long way we have to go to getting back to 100 percent normal. And so I do think these um, stay at home stocks, I think they're going to lag. And I think a lot of the higher multiple technology stocks are going to lag because the economy is going to be better and it will lead to a little bit more inflation and a little bit higher interest rates. And that's usually a better recipe to own value and cyclicals and then reopen as well. Speaking of stay at home stocks. Teladoc plunging today despite reporting a quarterly beat on the top line and raising 2021 full year guidance. Other big pandemic winners like Zoom, Peloton and Shopify also getting crushed today amid more signs of the economy fully reopening by summer. This morning, the CDC said cruise lines could begin sailing by mid-July. And New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio said he wants the city to fully reopen on July 1st. It, it is great to hear these milestones. Steph, the question is how to pick distinguish between the stay-at-home winners like this, which which clearly the market is judging as sort of a temporary burst in demand, and those that have changed their secular growth pictures, potentially, like we saw from a Facebook. Yeah, I mean, I think that the, the stay-at-home stock certainly saw a surge, right? And that's <clears throat> one of the reasons why, by the way, I think Apple's only barely flat on the day after just an enormous number, because the comparisons start to get very difficult. And how sustainable are those sales that they saw in Macs and, and iPads, that kind of thing? So <clears throat> I think you have to be very careful and very specific um, in terms of which names you want to pick. I think you can have a handful of them, absolutely. But I do think you want to balance that out with some of the companies that are about to get a real improvement in operating leverage, like Vail Resorts and Marriott and Wynn and TJX. All those stocks are still really lagging these other names and these other sectors. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.